Hey friends, Paul here. As a pen and ink artist who enjoys using both fountain pen, using fountain pen ink, and dip pen using India ink and brush, I've been looking for the holy grail of spiral bound sketchbooks. Now, traditionally, I've used Canson's XL Media. This is 98 pound paper. It's pretty good. It's got a vellum finish, but recently I have found the holy grail of sketchbooks. It's the Strathmore Visual Journal, and this is Bristol Smooth. It comes in both smooth and vellum. It's a hundred pound. The paper cover on this visual journal, you can tear that off. Um, the real cover are these thick backings. Check that out. That's, that's like board right there. And they're on the front and the back of the book. Now, this is um, 28 sheets or 56 pages. I was a little interested in that. I've, as a demonstration, I've actually used both sides of the sheet to show that you really can get 56 pages out of this. This figure right here is done with the Jin Yao fountain pen, any variety of Jin Yao fountain pen. Um, I picked these up on eBay. I've done reviews on these before. Um, I picked up this fancy 159 recently, and I'm using a combination of Higgins and Kohenor fountain pen ink. I really like how the ink lays on the page, and it's not shiny if you notice. I don't like a shiny finish, but for smooth Bristol board, this gives a nice matte finish and the ink is just, the contrast is just amazing. So I wanted to test to see how well the paper really holds up. On the other side here of the sheet, I've done an India ink drawing using Hunt dip pen nibs, as well as sable hair brush for the wash and using Speedball, combination of Speedball Super Black India and their acrylic India ink. The acrylic kind of dulls out any sheen from the India ink. Done a little winter scene here. Recently, we've had a huge snowstorm and extremely cold temps in New England. And you can see that, um, you know, that holds up pretty well. And I also used a pretty um, heavy wash in there too to see how well the paper would hold up as far as bending. And really, it's held up quite well. You can see the opacity on each side is wonderful. You cannot see, I mean, if you held this up to light, you would be able to see the nuances of the India ink on the opposite side. But on either side, you really can't see that there's a drawing on the back. So you really can get 56 sheets out of this, you know, which is wonderful. Now to compare to vellum Bristol board here on the left, this is the Strathmore 100 pound Bristol board vellum finish. I wanna point out the difference between the vellum and the smooth here. On the left, on the right side is the smooth and on the left side is the vellum finish. What I'm noticing is that the smooth finish gives greater contrast than the vellum finish. The vellum finish paper pulls the ink in a little bit, still renders a beautiful drawing, but if you really want your ink to pop to get the most contrast, smooth finish. If you've enjoyed this video review, please post your comments below as well as what's your favorite sketch pad for pen and ink drawing. Feel free to post links to your pen and ink artwork. I'm all about um, supporting and encouraging you pen and ink artists out there because um, we are a uh, passionate cadre of artists. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.